Welcome to everyday cooking. Today let us see how to do drumstick rasam. For this first we have to prepare the masala. For the masala it is half a teaspoon of coriander seeds, half a teaspoon of peppercorn, half a teaspoon of cumin seeds, few curry leaves. Dry roast this well for few minutes. If it is ready you can notice a change in color. So this is ready now. Let us transfer this into a mixer jar. To this add 4 to 5 garlic cloves and grind this without water. This is ready. Set this aside. Now we need one drumstick. You have to cut it like this. Just slit it like this. Don't cut it fully. So totally it is one drumstick. To this add one chopped tomato. Soak a lemon sized tamarind in water for about 10 minutes. Dissolve it in the same and filter it and add it. To this you can add around half a cup of water and the required amount of salt. Now let us keep it on the flame. Let this boil until the drumstick gets cooked well. The drumstick and the tomatoes has become soft, so this is ready. You can switch off the flame. Set this aside. We'll move on to the tempering. Pour some oil in a pan. To this, add half a teaspoon of mustard seeds and half a teaspoon of split black gram, the dissolved dal. Once the mustard starts popping, you can add few curry leaves. Once the curry leaves are fried, you can add the grinded masala, two or three dry chilies. And a quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder. Give this a nice sauteing. To this, let us add a quarter teaspoon of asafoetida, that is hing. Once the masala smell goes off, you can add the drumstick along with the water. To make it little watery, you can add around half cup of water. Rasam should not get boiled, so once it starts boiling, we can add few chopped coriander leaves and switch off the flame. The drumstick rasam is ready. Hope you like the recipe. We'll join you in another interesting recipe, and don't forget to subscribe our channel.